Hi, I'm Mark Jarvis, and welcome to the Magic of Magic review of Skycap, presented by Paul Harris. With Skycap, you push a straw or other similar shaped object through the cap of a plastic bottle. Let's watch the performance of Skycap, and we'll be right back to talk more about this effect. Uh, check this out. I want you to check that out. Make sure the, the water is real, right? It's good. <laughs> not an illusion. And the water does not come out, right? We're good. Actually, there is one way to get water out of the bottle, and that's to take the top. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. You're smart. So go ahead and take the top off. And uh, I tell you, I do want to get rid of the water, so uh, you can just dump it out. Okay. In the fountain would be good. Not on the floor. They might kick us out of here. There you go. <laughs> good job. And uh, I tell you what, go ahead and put the cap back on so the bottle is once again sealed. And uh, I can see you got some water there, so here you go. Just wipe your hands off. Get them nice and dry. I'm here to help you out. No worries, man. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Now, I'm actually, would you mind opening up the napkin for me? I'm going to try something with it. Uh, open it all the way up into the four corners there. There's, uh, yeah, all the way. Now, just like the pyramid itself, there is a center to the uh, napkin, right? Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to use the center or the, the middle there, the top, to try something very, very crazy. Now, I've got another friend here. I'm going to have you come in, buddy. I'm going to have you hold the bottle just like I am right from the sides. And I've also got a, a straw in my ear. You're probably wondering what that's for, right? I'm going to try something really, really crazy with the bottle and the straw. Check this out. I'm going to grab the top of the bottle right here. I'm going to try to go solid through solid. Watch. Find the spot and just go. You can see it starting to happen bit by bit. A little bit all the way in. Now, I'm actually going to do something that most guys would not do. I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at what's going on here. Check this out. You can actually see the straw going right there inside the bottle, right through the straw. Now, thank you. Now, not, I'm not going to be the only one, though, doing the magic. That's not fair. I want you to also help me out, my friend. I'm going to grab the napkin this time, and I want you to push the straw all the way down into the bottle. Go ahead and do it, right about there. Now, you can actually see the hole in the napkin, but check it out. There's actually no hole at all in the bottle. Check it out. That's for you. You got the straw right about there, right inside the bottle. The best part is there's no way in and no way out. Of course, you know what to do. How do you get it out? Open up the bottle. That's right. And get the straw right out. And you can check everything out. As you just saw, with Skycap, your spectator examines a plastic bottle containing water or another beverage. The spectator empties the bottle and screws the cap back on. Then you seemingly push a straw through the cap and hand the capped bottle out for examination. Although the concept is intriguing, I don't believe that this effect will leave your spectators with a truly magical experience. There are a few factors of Skycap that leave me uncomfortable. First, the promotional video shows the bottle with the cap screwed on being handed to a spectator for inspection before the effect is performed. The spectator removes and replaces the cap while the bottle is in his possession. It is likely that a mishap will occur if the capped bottle is handled so freely by a spectator before the straw is passed through the cap. The spectator handling the cap in this way is a significant selling point of Skycap. Yet this risky version of the performance is not covered on the instructional DVD. The second point that leaves me uncomfortable about Skycap is that although the gimmick is well engineered, your audience will suspect that a gimmick is in play. Just the thought of a gimmick being used will make the magic less magical and more of a puzzle to your spectators. We look for certain qualities in magic, including whether the promotional video accurately represents the actual performance requirements of the effect, the potential of a gimmick being suspected, and if the magic is truly magical. Skycap doesn't meet these qualities. I wouldn't perform this effect, and I wouldn't suggest that you do either. I don't recommend Skycap.